Good evening and welcome into St. Joseph High School where tonight it is senior night for the Chargers as they host old East Suburban Catholic Conference rival Good St. Patrick and welcome into in the St. regular Joseph season where tonight home it is finale. Senior. But right now the sophomore game is still being played so we're going to have some bonus basketball for you here on Arena Sportsnet and give you the final couple of minutes right now. 2.15 to play. St. Pat's leads it 43-41. And just now a foul called offensively on St. Joe's, giving the basketball back to the Shamrocks. So they will inbound from the backcourt on the right sideline with Anthony Zolo. Again, St. Pat's leading here in the sophomore game, 43-41 with 2.16 to play. Zolo with the inbound to Coro. Caleb Coro, the 5'9", sophomore. And it's stolen away by the Chargers. Nakee Shahid Owens goes all the way to the hoop. Can't get the roll. Rebound to St. Pat's and then a foul. As Shahid Owens came away with the steal there, tried to go all the way to the hoop, but just couldn't quite get the roll. And then he committed the foul on the rebound. The seventh on the Chargers as a team, so now... The Shamrocks into the bonus. 201 to play, 43-41. St. Pat's with the lead here in the sophomore game. Benjamin Gushwan at the line here for the one and one. Gushwan at six foot four. His first free throw. Off the mark. Offensive rebound for St. Pat's. Put back up and in by Nikolai Baremo. 45-41 St. Pat's. And then losing the ball out of bounds was Nikki Shahid Owens. It's back to St. Pat's. They have the four-point lead with 150 to play here. They'll be inbounding from near midcourt on the right sideline. Anthony Zolo will be the inbounds man for the Shamrocks. Gets it in quickly to Coro in the backcourt. Being guarded by Brandon Malone. Coro gets past Malone on a screen. Dishes for Gushwain, misses the jumper. Ill-advised shot there with 140. They should be running clock. They take a quick jumper. Now on the other end, a three from Brandon Malone, and the Chargers are within one. With 1.30 to play, 45-44 Shamrocks here in the sophomore game. Zolo dribbles around the three-point arc, then dishes off for Gushwain, and then thrown out of bounds. It's back to St. Joe's. They'll take over with 1.17 to play. Again, this is sophomore bonus coverage here on Arena Sportsnet and arenasportsnetchicago.com. 115 to play, 45-44, St. Pat's with the lead over St. Joe's. Down to 110 now. As Shahid Owens dribbles near the top of the key. Hands off for D'Amico Newtall. Newtall on the handoff, back for Jay. Drew the defense was wide open under the basket for the easy two points. So the score, 46-45, 31 seconds to play here in the sophomore game before tonight's senior night festivities and the varsity contest between St. Patrick's and St. Joseph's. An old rivalry that dates back a number of years. Original members of the East Suburban Catholic Conference, St. Joe's left the ESCC for the Chicago Catholic League back in the 2010-2011 school year. But good to see these old rivals playing again in a non-conference setting. Of course, there is the possibility of them meeting in the playoffs at some point, but like to see those games scheduled in the regular season as well, and that's something that both of these schools are trying to do. So St. Pat's will have the ball, trailing by one with 31 under, and Shahido 15. Cora back around midcourt. St. Pat's holding for the last shot. Down to 12. 10 seconds left. Coro dribbling the left side. Spins mid lane. The floater. He got it with seven to play. Down to five seconds. St. Joe's calls a timeout. The bench for the Shamrocks going insane after the floater by Caleb Coro, the freshman. 
spun his way in the lane and the little teardrop fell for him. So it's 47-46, Shamrocks with five seconds to play. So St. Joe's will get one last shot here in the sophomore game. I want to clarify this is the sophomore contest. A little bonus basketball for you here on arenasportsnet.com and Arena Sportsnet Chicago. Chargers looking to get senior night started off well with a victory here in the sophomore game. But it'll be tough. So dribble Chargers will have D'Amico Nudal inbounding it. Five seconds left, 47-46 Shamrocks. Nudal looking for the pass in. Gets it in to Shahido and dribbles up the floor. Takes a three at the buzzer. Got it! He got it at the buzzer! McKee Shaheed Owens wins the sophomore game 49-47 over St. Pat's. What a start to senior night. What a win for the sophomore squad. Shaheed Owens hits the three at the buzzer, dribbles the length of the floor. What a win for Coach Bill Riley and the sophomore team to start off this night. What a moment. What a moment for St. Joe's. As Nikki Shahid Owens nails the three at the buzzer to win it. And this is a sophomore team that has had their ups and downs. But in the home finale tonight, they close out with a great moment. They get a standing ovation from this crowd. They got a couple players from the varsity coming out to congratulate him. What a moment for Naki Shahid Owens nailing the three at the buzzer to win it for St. Joe's 49-47. Boy, and uh, I said it before, it was some bonus basketball giving you guys a little bit of the sophomore game and certainly glad we came on the air. In time for that buzzer beater from Nikki Shahid Owens. Great moment there for the sophomore team, and they can enjoy watching the varsity game tonight knowing they had a dramatic victory in the final seconds. Had to go the length of the floor in five seconds, and Nikki Shahid Owens hits the three at the buzzer for the win. So we're about 20 minutes away from the tip-off of the varsity game tonight, and it is senior night. Always a great night at St. Joseph High School and really at any high school honoring the seniors uh, for all that they have done throughout their time here at St. Joe's. And also along with the basketball team, the cheerleaders and the dance team, seniors will all be honored. Of course, for the Chargers, the seniors are all the starters, Chance Aldridge, Jalen and Jordan Boyd, Jafari Brown, and Ahmad Muhammad. And they have contributed a great four years to this program here at St. Joe's. So they will be honored. There's some St. Joseph live from all around the country, senior night, Always a great night and a very nice crowd on hand here tonight for senior night. And good to see that. One of the best crowds of the season so far. And now we will begin the festivities with public address announcer, Jay Meath. Festivities haven't quite started yet, but uh, the parents are lining up outside in the hallway just beyond the gym opposite of the stage here at St. Joseph's where we're set up. 
And now we will start the festivities with Coach Meath, the public address announcer, and head baseball coach. Sorry, folks. Still not sure of the delay here. They're probably just waiting for all of the students and parents to be lined up for the senior night festivities. So we're going to take a quick break here in Arena Sports Tent, and we'll come right back as soon as the senior night ceremonies start. Looks like now we may officially be ready to begin the senior night festivities, so now we'll go to public address announcer Jay Meath.
Aaron 
And there you have it, the senior night festivities here from St. Joseph. Thanks to, thanks to public address announcer Jay Meath for giving us all the senior cheerleaders, members of the dance team, the basketball team, and the managers of the basketball team. I'll run through the names again just in case you couldn't quite catch any of them. The cheerleaders, Peyton Elliott, Maya Lumpkin, Kamora McLean, and Shania Munoz. The dance team, Tia Garth, Danita Johnson, Jordan Leonard, Ebony Love, and London Morgan. The basketball team, Chance Aldridge, Jalen Boyd, Jordan Boyd, Jafari Brown, and Ahmad Muhammad. The managers of the basketball team, DeAndre Banks, Arian Harmon, Shamar McDade Bishop, and Jamari Taylor. Thanks to the seniors for all of their hard work over the last four years here at St. Joseph High School. We're going to take a break here on Arena Sportsnet. We will be back with you at 7.10 p.m. to bring you the interview with Coach Pingator before tonight's game, and then we will have the tip-off hopefully sometime around 7.20. So we'll be back again at 7.10. So join us back here on arenasportsnet.com and Arena Sportsnet Chicago for the pregame coverage, the interview with Coach Pingator, and then the varsity tip-off between St. Joe's and St. Pat's. Again, a reminder, we'll be back here at 7.10 for coverage of St. Joseph's and St. Patrick's here on arenasportsnet.com and Arena Sportsnet Chicago. Thank you for joining us here tonight for St. Joseph's and St. Patrick's. <laughs> 